Welcome to the tour of how I've arranged Blackboard for your ESC 1000 course or your GLY 1000 course. We happen to be looking at the ESC 1000 and should look very similar to GLY. Okay. So right now you start in your dashboard as a student. Okay. And up here under your dashboard you see my announcements. There will be some announcements and a few other uh, widgets that um, might be useful. Uh, the course course mail messages I think show up here in my messages. There may be some grades in your report card area, alerts if anything's um, running late. Uh, but over here on the left side in the green sidebar, uh, this is pretty important. It's important. This is how you get to all the different course materials. Uh, the um, lessons link here gets you to all the lesson units. Okay, Starting with the one you were probably just in if you're watching this video under introduction to course is where you'll find information about how the course is organized the intro to the class video you have probably already watched and then the using blackboard with this class video which is the one uh, you're watching right now and then a link to general discussion or virt virtual office where you can ask questions of your fellow classmates and or me and then the class handouts link where you can uh, get to the, the course schedule and probably the syllabus as well. So back over in lessons, as you'll scroll down, you'll see each each every other week or so or as unit as the units open up, you'll see your the each lesson units open up here. So your first one will be open, the unit one earth materials. And below unit one you scroll down, right now you see a folder for your midterm exam, which is not open yet, so don't panic, and your final exam. When those exams are ready, they'll be in these folders. But in between this unit one and these folders, you will see units two, three, and four before the midterm. And then after the midterm folder, you'll see five, six, seven, and then eight each in its turn. And inside, we click inside the unit, you'll find that there's a table of contents uh, showing the video lectures, uh, the PowerPoints, uh, YouTube videos, these are supplemental YouTube videos uh, that may help you understand the material. But then as you scroll down, you see a little about the learning objectives, maybe a fun cartoon, and a listing of the assignments. Okay. And then you can go down to uh, where the discussion report is, the uh, lab on minerals, or even the unit quiz. And where the unit quiz you can take three time, up to three times, your highest grade counts. Okay. Uh, here's your, um, your discussion report. This you can also get to out of this link over on the sidebar called discussion reports, where actually all the discussion reports for the whole semester are open. So those you can work ahead on. You can see what the questions are. And in this case, in unit one, you'll be picking, like you're picking a state mineral or rock or gemstone. Okay, from uh, Wikipedia um, database and doing some research and answering some questions. And in that report, you're going to write about 375 to 450 words and add citations, um, basically a bibliography, and maybe a picture or two or a graph. And then you'll be reading other students' posts and making comments on at least two of them. Okay. So again, over here on the left side, uh, you Okay, where we had gotten to the, the lessons. I remember you, there's a shortcut to the discussion reports. And between that's the class handouts link. In the class handouts link, there will be this link to the class schedule, which is probably the second most important document in the course, next to the syllabus. And it's a PDF file. Uh, you're welcome to download it. But it will show your schedule, each one of the units laid out, which weeks you're working on them the um, chapters are your reading, one of your discussion report, the primary post when that's due. That's a fairly soft deadline, but mostly we want to have enough posts posted so that when you go to read other students' posts to find ones to comment, you need to find them before the final due date when the comments are due along with the quizzes and the labs. Okay. And it shows you your midterm dates, you the window that the midterm is open, and the window when the final exam is open. Then there's also in the class handouts either a link directly to the syllabus or to the page the syllabus is on. Uh, in this case, 
um, is only directly uh, to the syllabus. Okay. okay, then announcements. You have a link directly to the announcements in the course. And you got a link to something called My Grades. When you click on My Grades, you should be able to see a listing of all the assignments. And if they've been graded, what they've been graded, most of these are out of 12 points. Exams have 122 points. Don't worry, you don't have enough. Um, some of these uh, columns uh, aren't visible until you actually have a grade, so they don't stress you out when there's nothing in them. Okay. But that's one way to see if I've graded your, your, your work or not. Uh, course mail. This is very important. This is where uh, you can send me a message, and I will reply back. Uh, you can also send messages uh, to other students. So you click on create message. And you click on two. Then you can, you know, pick me if you're emailing me. You can also pick out other students that you might want to email. You can also select everybody, send a message to the whole crew. When you're done writing your message, you can preview it here. Okay. Um, Make sure you hit the submit button in the lower right corner. This especially this will actually send out the message. But when you're doing any assignment or quiz or discussion report, at the bottom of the page you always want to hit submit if you're turning in the assignment. If it's an assignment, sometimes you'll have a save, save for later or save draft button. Well, that just saves it temporarily. And me as a professor, I can't see that until you've submitted it. And then I'm able to grade it. So you don't see a submit button where you expect to see it, uh, and you're working on a computer or a laptop, uh, definitely email me. Maybe we can figure it out. If you're working on a tablet, often the submit buttons don't show up, and that causes problems. Okay, there's a link to student resources, which are some, I guess, tutorial information that's provided by the college. So that's the basic uh, setup for, for Blackboard. Uh, definitely, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to course message me or to email me. Uh, in case I forgot to mention it, to log into Blackboard, it's your Panther Web username and password. Thank you.